Hello and welcome to Baiju's Exam Prep IES. The big news for today is the norovirus which is spreading all across the world and now unfortunately we have also found a few cases in India as well. In this video we will be discussing about what exactly is a norovirus, the origin story of this, what precautions can you keep in mind if you want to fight against this virus and what are the most significant symptoms that you can actually see in the human body if it is being infected with the norovirus. Now let's begin. As I said, the reason why it is in the news is that it is a highly contagious virus, especially infecting children under the age of 5. Because it results in a lot of vomiting and diarrhea, it is also known as a stomach flu or the winter vomiting bug. The main sources of transmission of this virus can be contaminated food, contaminated water and surfaces while the primary route is oral fecal. That is why it is very very similar to a diarrhea inducing rotavirus and has the ability to infect people across the age groups but the most significant age group that is at danger of being infected with this virus is children under the age of 5. This disease typically outbreaks aboard the cruise ships because cruise ships although they can be very fun and they can be very exciting are the places where it is very very difficult to keep a control on germs. It's a closed environment in the middle of nowhere and that is when you have the most probability of virus being transmitted from one person to the other. It is also seen in nursing homes, dormitories where a lot of people share a common area and also other closed spaces. As I said earlier, the unfortunate part is that there are a couple of cases that now have been seen in India also starting with Kerala where two primary school students have been infected with this dangerous norovirus. Now, just like a normal diarrhea, there are multiple symptoms that are attached to the norovirus. Most significant of these are vomiting and diarrhea. These symptoms usually are seen one or two days after the human body has been exposed to the virus. If you are the one who have gotten the norovirus, most probably you will start feeling nauseous, means you will start having a feeling of vomiting. You will also suffer from very severe abdominal pain, that again is usually the case in case of diarrhea. You might have fever, headache and body aches in other parts of your body. Also, it might also lead in the loss of fluids as is the case with diarrhea usually and that is why you need to ensure that you are taking enough water and other liquid supplements because dehydration can be a big worry so you have to keep on hydrating your body if you have been infected with the norovirus. So the US CDC that is the Center for Disease Control and Prevention has actually given a lot of information about the norovirus on their website. For example, the CDC website says that these are the major methods through which you can actually get the norovirus. By shaking hands with people who are infected, by touching surfaces that are contaminated, by touching your mouth with the same hand, changing of diapers and also providing care to people who are ill. If you actually notice, all these are very very similar to the symptoms and the ways in which you could get COVID-19 because most of the viruses actually spread in the same manner. Since COVID-19 is a virus and the norovirus also as the name suggests is caused by a virus, that is why the method of transmission of these diseases is almost the same with each other. Now, if you have to ensure that you don't want to get norovirus, these are the precautions that you must take. For example, just like in case of COVID-19, the first biggest precaution is that you have to ensure that you keep washing your hands time and time again. Now, the bad part is that the norovirus is so infectious that it has a probability of escaping a lot of hand sanitizers as well. Even then, you cannot undermine the significance of washing your hands and keeping them sanitized as much as possible. Norovirus is also resistant to many disinfectants and can withstand heat up to 60 degrees Celsius. Meaning that if you are eating anything, make sure it is cooked at high temperatures, at least above 60 degrees Celsius. So that the probability of this virus being alive inside the food is minimal. Make sure that you are not just steaming your food at low temperatures. You are not just coordinating the water, but you are taking many, many more steps as compared to that. The one basic precaution, as is true with most other virus diseases, including COVID-19, is to ensure that you keep washing your hands with soap thoroughly. In fact, if you remember when the COVID-19 pandemic started, one major precaution that was to be given to everyone was 
that you should wash your hands for at least 30 seconds continuously multiple times a day. And the same applies in case of norovirus as well. The US Center for Disease Control and Prevention says that the infected people should avoid their contact with other people and also avoid preparing food for others while they are sick. So most of the precautions are just the same as we see in case of the COVID-19. Now coming to the treatment part, just like a diarrhea, this disease of norovirus is self-limiting. Meaning that, yes, there is a great impact on the human body just as diarrhea has. But the good part is that it usually lasts only 2 to 3 days. Most individuals who are not very young or old and they usually have a good lifestyle, they would be able to recover without much of a problem. Yes, the days that you are infected when you actually are vomiting and you have diarrhea, those days can be difficult. But it should not last very, very long if you ensure that your body gets adequate rest and you are keeping yourself hydrated. Also, diagnosis is done by real-time reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction. There is no vaccine that is available for this disease because as I said, in most of the cases, it is not really a life-threatening disease. Unless your body is extremely weak, you do not have any nutrient intake in your body and you are not taking adequate rest. In those scenarios, it can be dangerous, but apart from that, you are expected to recover completely within a few days. The most important point to remember here is, once you have been infected with this virus, you have to ensure that your body is adequately hydrated. Because when you have diarrhea and you have vomiting, the one problem that we have is that it dehydrates our body and a lot of liquids actually come out of our body. So that is why in the extreme cases, the patients might also have to be administered the rehydration fluids by being admitted in the hospital, which in our common day to day language, we say that you have to have glucose bottles. So when you get admitted to the hospitals, they get you fluids through your veins. That is a process of rehydration that can be required in case of norovirus as well. This is everything that you needed to know about the spread of norovirus right now. Really hoping that it does not spread too far too wide. Thank you so much for watching the big news.